waiting lines, we did know exactly how this bill was going to end. And it went to that direction, Masharia. So, why are we talking about this? As opposed to talking about what next then? Because we will sit here and then say, well, probably you would have expected that we get a surprise from the majority side in parliament where a majority will say, well, 90% of Kenyans have already spoken to us through the public participation process. Even after amending this, they do not like exactly what is presented here. So, we're going to vote based on our constituents, like the people that we're representing. But then, I mean, the government told you, Masharia, that, well, stop talking about it. You're wasting your energy. We are going to pass it. So then, what next? And I think that this bill passed pursuant to majority of our expectations, notwithstanding the voice of the people, confirms that, indeed, we really need to relook at the independence of the organs of the government. Because if an independent parliament. We need an independent parliament that can that can align issues with the expectation of the peoples of Kenya. But if we've spoken about and us having an independent mean, parliament, I mean, you and I have been in this country for quite some time. I mean, you have to travel way back after independence for you to say that we've never had an independent parliament. The government wins, and you're told that it's based on the majority. Elijah, the reason why I'm saying we need to have an, a relook at the independence of the parliament, of course, we know the bill was by and large driven by the ex We have seen the deputy president, the, the president, uh, hammer support for it. But then at the parliament, that is where the voice of the people is heard. People do not uh, the members of them. Be coming back to you, we seem to have a problem with your sound. For now, I just want us to essentially move into the next part of this conversation, which is essentially what next and our reporter on retender uh, essentially camped right here all the way into the evening just to bring us what transpired uh, until we had this particular one now earlier in the day before members of parliament voted on the finance bill there were sharp divisions over the contentious issues like the housing levy and the 16 percent vat on petrol now the house was divided down in the middle with lawmakers allied to the government strongly supporting the bill while their counterparts from the opposition vehemently raising their objection our reporter Honley Chende now looks at the members on both sides of the political divide and how they handled the discussions in the House and files the following report from us. We're calling it the Finance Bill Showdown. Our Honley Chende, let's watch it.